It was the shin snap heard around the sports world. It was a horrifying injury that fans are talking about when Anderson Silva broke his tibia and his fibula, the bones in your shin, when he was throwing a kick at Chris Wyman during a UFC match. Now, I can keep a direct trauma from happening to your tibia, but I can give you some tips on how to help strengthen that bone in your calf. So first of all, do some weight-bearing exercises like regular squats or to bump it up and make it a little bit harder, find the half dome, this works on your balance as well, and you just squat. You don't want your knees to go past your toes like that. You want the weight behind your toes, and you don't want your knees to roll in or roll out. So I'd say try to do two to three sets of 10 of this. Then a nice simple way is just stand and lift and down. You can do this at work, you can do this anywhere. This just helps build up the back of your calves. Three sets of 10, the magic number. And then the other way to help develop the muscles that line the outsides of your calf, is let's face it, your muscles are your shock absorbers. So if they're good and strong, they can kind of help cushion the blow that that tibia takes during any type of sport. And you're just gonna do this. Resist your foot moving in. Now, don't do this. A lot of people do that. Just keep your knee facing up, bring the ankle in, and then resist bringing your ankle out. Three sets of 10 again. So those are a few ways to hopefully help keep tibia fractures from sidelining you. Always check with your physician before doing any exercise program. And remember, you may be sidelined, but not for long. I'm Amy McGorry on the Upwave.